day and the story dominating the front pages today uh, follows the French police's decision to dismantle the so-called jungle, the makeshift camp for migrants near the port of Calais. Now the majority of people in these camps are from Afghanistan and are said to be hoping to make new lives for themselves here in Britain. However, Home Secretary Alan Johnson has denied that Britain will be forced to take migrants uh, but the Mef Refugee Council has uh, said that the granting asylum to a small number of vulnerable migrants from the camp may be the right solution. So when you see these pictures, what kind of reaction does it provoke in you? Well, it, it's a problem, isn't it? And it is, um, it's kind of history repeating itself because it happened with Sangat, didn't it? And uh, I think we did agree to take most of the migrants that are there at the time. But, you see, the problem is, when, when you look at it, it's easy to feel sorry for people who are just being uprooted. You know, they've uprooted themselves for whatever reason, and a lot of them are there because they've probably paid people traffickers to get them here. And, the you know, international law says that they should be seeking asylum. If they are genuinely persecuted, they probably would seek asylum in the first safe country that they get to. And most of those people there have crossed four or five countries yeah. to get to, to Calais. And they just stay there waiting to come to Britain because they've either been, you know, sold a dream sold, or a yeah. promise or, or whatever. And, you know, we can't... I, I, you know, I think we're... I think as a country, I think we're brilliant at that. And we do, we do help people who are, who are in genuine need. But the problem is, if you do just say, OK, we'll take them all, they apply for asylum, our system doesn't work here. It would take... It would take so long to actually process these people. Half of them, you don't know where they come from. You don't know if their stories are right because they're told to get rid of all their papers. And it is, it is a problem, but it's, it's the whole problem. It's a problem for the whole of the EU, not just us. And the, and the way everybody says, oh, yeah, we should just take them, why are they queuing up at the border? Why do you think that is? It's because, you know, they're going to be offered asylum in France. They don't want to be in France because they know it's easier to be here and it's easier for them to get lost. And the chance of them getting sent back you know, virtually now. So, so do, do you think that we should refuse them entry? Well, the thing is, it, it, it isn't about refusing them entry. It's about the fact that the law says they should have applied for asylum in the first safe country, as I just said, where they, where they landed. And they but didn't if, if because they want to be here. We can't solve the problems of the world. We a have solution. a lot. It's finding a solution, Absolutely isn't sure. it? That's what it's about. I mean, these people on the front page of the Daily Mail today have made a handmade sign, and it says, we want asylum in Europe where we can get our human rights, but we don't want to go back home, even if we die here. But they're, they're in, prepared they're to in die France. rather than go home. But they're in France. They're in a safe country. And France has said they're going to offer them asylum. And yet still, they'll probably still disappear because they, they want to be here. Because they know it's easier to be here. And we're much softer on people like that. And and are we sorry. too soft? And we can't look we at are. We can't do that. We can't look at signs like that. It becomes very emotive, doesn't it? Every, uh, that is very emotive, what, whoever's written that. And we can't look at that. The only thing is, the whole thing has become so emotional when you see those that, you know, I mean, it's, it's, isn't it incredible in these days that we see this now? Well, you know, how long ago did this start? But it's the traffickers that are, are at a fault. We have to catch them. But, and, and, you know, they, they're given this ridiculous, you know, London's paved with gold illusion. Sherry, and that's where they believe they're coming to and Sherry, they're not. Doesn't it, in a way, though, make you proud that that people like this, people who are, are really struggling and, and desperate, are, are coming to our country because we have this fantastic, fantastic... Let, let, hear me out. We're, we're, we are so renowned for our tolerance and our generosity and our compassion. And I think that is, an in, in, that is the society I want to belong to. Yes, we yeah. are, but and in I, genuine need. And I think the, the problem is that the, all these asylum seekers, these immigrants, illegal, um, not in, migrant workers, they're all lumped together together in one group and I think we have to understand the differences between I agree them because entirely, a lot of the, uh, the people who come to this country from f for instance Eastern Europe are perfectly allowed to come here. Mm -hmm. They're allowed to come here and work here as we are allowed to, come, uh, to go and work there. Then we have a group of asylum seekers which is what this group is who are genuinely persecuted and are asking for our help and as this wonderful well, we don't tolerant know. society... Le Leslie, we don't well, know they're genuinely persecuted, we don't know that. For all you know they could all be standing there as part saying. of human they, traffic. They have to be processed and I agree that that's a, a difficult and long process. But then there, of course, there are the illegal immigrants who jump on the back of the lorries and, and come and just disappear into the system. Mm. And, yes, those people obviously shouldn't be here. But the, the trouble is that I think they're all lumped together and we tar them all with the same brush, and that's not no, right. No, not that's everybody not does. Right. I think the general Don't public... Don't accuse me of doing that. OK, well, I'm talking about the general public 
and I include myself here, I wouldn't well, know don't, the don't difference between the illegal... Public, well, well, not everybody thinks that. From my own that. point of view, then, I wouldn't know the difference between an illegal immigrant and an immigrant who isn't illegal, or, uh, you know, a, a, a person who's migrating here for economic well, it's reasons. someone who has no right to be to. here. And, you know, we all know that if we are in the EU, everyone has free movement around the EU, and there's yeah. nothing you can do about that. These, these people are from Afghanistan. Uh, We've got soldiers fighting to make their country better, and they're crossing countries to come over here for work so they can get benefits. Okay.